Rooted is an upcoming open world survival game that has been set in a post bio war city where the entire human population has been wiped out due to some of the biological wars from the government. And after 60 years, there seems to be only very few survivors left that are still surviving in this massive open world. So last night, the developers of this game, Rooted, have just given us some brand new gameplay as well as they've also revealed the release date of this game, which I actually is very exciting news to be honest because this game is of course coming for PC, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X. Now first it's going to be releasing on the PC versions and then it's also going to come out for the consoles as well. Now at this point the game has both the solo experience as well as multiplayer experience. It's a game which has both PvP and PvE aspects where you as players are going to embark on a journey of a survival open world game like all the games that we have played before. It kind of gives me a lot Lot more vibe towards DayZ, which is also a zombie survival game. But apparently, in this game, as much as I would love to see zombies, there is no zombies in this game. It's kind of unique where you're going to be fighting against some of the survivors. I mean, the human survivors. And along with that, also online players. There are going to be different factions of enemies. You're also going to have marauders and you're going to have army bases. And there will be different factions of militaries taking down on different towns and cities. Naruto has base building, which is something a lot of people have been looking forward to when it comes to survival games and the base building that we have seen in Rooted seems absolutely amazing. Nothing like I've ever seen with any of the other very complicated base building features in most of the open world survival games but this one it actually seems very advanced and it also is very simple at its basis. So that's something I'm really intrigued to see how it's going to be working out. Now the developers have announced that the alpha for this game is going to go live on September the 4th of 2023. So we're we're only just a couple months away from the official alpha going live. Now during last night's devlog, they actually said that the alpha that we're going to be playing is not going to be the final representation of the game. So anything that they're going to be releasing in this alpha is pretty much just to test the game out and see how the game works. And as far as what I've seen from the gameplay that they've been showcasing, it just looks absolutely amazing. From the graphics and the gameplay mechanics and especially the ragdoll mechanics of your backpack, like even if you just cross across any of the grills or any kind of surface you'll actually see that the environmental things and the items that your player is wearing is also going to shake according to how they are touching against the other surfaces that is inside of the game so even if you walk past any of the leaves or plants the plants are actually going to move and scatter around very much real life like which to be honest kind of just looks like a next-gen gameplay mechanics here and all the ragdoll animation it just looks absolutely stunning now this game is being developed in Unreal Engine 5.2. Firstly, the game was developed in Unreal Engine 4 and then they switched up to 5 and then now they're switching back up to Unreal Engine 5.2 which allowed the developers to implement a lot of next-gen gameplay features and also making the game look as pleasing to the eyes as possible. Now first, the devs have said that they're going to be releasing an alpha phase for the game and there's going to be two different alpha phases, I believe. The first one is going to be locked to people who have registered for the alpha and also if you guys have helped the developers by donating for their fundraising and all that stuff because the game was basically a kickstarter game and people have been donating in order to develop this game so as a token of appreciation they just want to go ahead and give people a chance to go ahead and take a look at what they've been doing with this project and for alpha 2 and for the beta version and the devs have said that the beta version is going to be the closest version of what the final representation of the game could look like but still it's not the final one it is still going to be work in progress but as of now alpha is something that they're going to be testing out and trying different things out so if you guys want to go ahead and try the alpha out make sure to go ahead and register in the link that i will provide in the description of this video so register for yourself and yes the game is coming out for playstation 5 and xbox series x later but first it will be releasing for the pc version on steam and epic games and then later on to the xbox and playstation stores but i would honestly recommend you guys to go ahead and register for this alpha phase so you can go ahead and try things out and see how this game basically looks if that is something you guys enjoy or not i will of course give you guys my honest opinions on each phase of this game i will always keep you guys updated with all the stuff that you guys need about all the upcoming open world games right here on this channel so if you guys are looking for a youtube channel that covers all the stuff from including gameplays news updates leaks information every single thing about video games that is coming up in the future is going to be available right here so make sure to go ahead subscribe it's absolutely free you don't 
don't have to pay a dime to get the subscription. So go ahead, subscribe. You will always be updated every single day. So with that being said, if you guys are excited for Rooted and if you guys want to support these indie developers, then make sure to go ahead, smack that like rating. And also your like really does help the channel out a lot. So I really thank each and every one of you guys who have been showing your support from day one. So thank you guys so much. And with that being said, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. And I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Until then, take it easy, fans, and uh, goodbye. Ooh. Ooh.